Uh, Danielle, I don't, I'm, I, without talking to Kim, I'm not sure that she's maybe trying to establish more of a, a balance from the perimeter to the inside and, you know, you kind of fall right into that role. When both of you play, well, actually you played more than Courtney in terms of minutes and can combine for 39 points. What does that tell you? That you're mm -hmm. part of the, the gig? That's probably my fault. Kind of like I know my role and I come off the bench and I'm um, supposed to know how to play with each other and play to their strengths and my strengths and I think we work well together. Too. With the additional minutes do you feel are you starting to feel confident and comfortable at the same time? Yeah I'm starting to find my rhythm better than last year. Okay uh, is it easier when when you when you get to play you know, instead of just little spots to play a little more of the long periods? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I get to figure it out more, and I get more confident on the court. I get more comfortable. And being on the court, it's, it's great. And it's, I like it more than coming on and off, but I have to know what I do in my role. Courtney, are you, are you just in a good rhythm? I mean, I, I don't want to say I, – I think we're over the hump in terms of just continuing to play consistently well. Instead of you know climbing, I think you're you're right there. Do you do you feel like you're you're into a real consistent type rhythm instead of an up down type deal? Um, yeah, I'm, I think so. I just think I get like fairly <coughs> easy baskets where they're like mostly layups, so I just got to finish those and then going into rebound every time I remember to. So I just think it's like remembering to be like assertive on offense and defense. Savannah, did you did you guys anticipate? I don't want to say get into a shooting match, but it, that it was going to take ninety five points to beat this team. Um. Well, we know that they score a lot of points and they shoot quick shots, and so they like speed teams up. So I mean, we didn't anticipate shooting or scoring ninety five, but you know that's what you got to do to beat this team because they want to put up a lot of points too. Let's talk about the uh, the start of the third quarter. You know, one of the criticisms, or at least um, critiques, I would say. That came from this outside source that was that your team didn't perform extremely well af after a halftime or after timeouts, and yet you guys came out after halftime. You went in down nine and went on a 14 point run. When you're in that 14 point run, do you realize what's going on? Do you, I mean, do you realize, shoot, now we're up by three? I mean, every I, I would have to go back and look, but I think I think you scored on six straight possessions, maybe. Yeah, definitely. It just feels like the basket gets a lot wider and anything's going to go in. And we just like, it's fun when we do that. So we just want to keep doing it. I would say that run, uh, even though they still pulled within two a couple times, I think that run did a lot for you. Corny, don't you think that, that that run maybe gave you the confidence that, you know, you know if they, if they want to just run up and down and start firing it away and make us try to keep up with them, we, we can do that. Yeah, I think at half we went in and we knew we were better than we had showed. But getting um, a rhythm with their pace is very difficult to do. So I think we knew how they were going to play for the second half. And so we could um, have a plan of we got to make easier shots and not just rely on a three. And we also have to rebound better. And so that really helped us with our run. And then that run gave us confidence to win the game. Do you guys still feel like sometimes you're taking an extra pass? Instead of taking an open shot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't know if that, that's a message you give, but from what, and I'm not, I don't know, squat, but from where I'm sitting, it's like, shoot. <laughs> you know, you said, Courtney, you did it once. It was like, just shoot it. And Danielle, I think you did it once too. It was like, instead of making the extra pass, which, you know, it's great because you're, you're drawing people to your times and somebody's out on the wing open, but it's like, man, just shoot it because it's either going in or you're probably going to get fouled. Mm -hmm. Do you guys feel like you're trying to be, too perfect at times? Uh, I wouldn't say it's too perfect, but I just think we're really unselfish, an unselfish team, so sometimes that like kills us, That, but I'd rather have that than us not making the extra pass. I'm sure Cammy isn't happy with 18 turnovers, but she'll take the 33 assists that go with it. And I guess that's what I'm getting at. And it's, if, it, if it's going to be 33 assists because of that, so be it. Um, I don't know what she said about the rebounding, but 11, 11 difference in rebounding. She, she may want to harp on that a little bit. And, you know, I can't fault any of you sitting here. You know, Courtney, you had 10. Savannah, you had uh, eight. 
and Danielle, you had six, and you you'd said that, or Courtney, you said sometimes when you remember to go get the, the rebound. Uh, what do you, do you have to? Is it a mental reminder that when somebody puts up a shot, you've got to turn and go to the basket? Yeah, because um, sometimes we're running the play, and it's very easy to get caught up in like not being intentional and um, watching the play happen, and so. I mean, my habit, I'd rather just stand there and get back on defense than go in and have the contact. But you have to go in and you have to fight for every rebound, especially at this level. So I just think it's like um, sometimes we get caught up like watching plays instead of getting in there um, to get the rebounds for our team. Talk about, I, you know, I would say this team is one that everybody has to keep an eye on because they shoot quick, they want to get you into a mistake-prone game. I mean, they, they'll, they'll pressure from the baseline. Um, you know, and to be honest with you, they were on the floor, and I was waiting for them to tire out, and they did not. They kept coming, kept coming, and kept coming. So how does it feel to get a win over them, you know, get them out of the way for a while, and start off, you know, with uh, at one and all in the conference? It feels good. <laughs> Yeah, um, you can't really simulate anything they do in practice. So, but I think the closest thing we had was when we just played Pacific back um, before Christmas break. So that got us prepared for them. All right, girls, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.